Welcome back to the next part of my Resident Evil walkthrough. Um, go ahead and store your ink ribbon. This way, and you can unlock this door using the helmet key. So, this room presents kind of a strange puzzle. First off, there's a dagger here, and there's some shotgun shells here, and there's a file, uh, mail to the chief of security, confidential, uh, chief of security, date July 22nd, 1998, 213. X day is drawing up on us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Number one, we are stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. Number two, collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of, dispose of the tyrant. Number three, ensure completed disposal of all of the Arcway Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck. Umbrella Headquarters. Umbrella Incorporated. Alright. So you can go ahead and push this back. I guess it's as far back as it'll go. And you can push this back. Turn the light off. So now, um, this eagle, um, you have to get the eyes out of these mounted heads, but if the eagle is watching you, then you cannot get them out. So you just kind of have to go under him. You will start to turn, but you just gotta be fast. And take out the gemstones before he sets his gaze on you. It's pretty easy, really, it's just weird. In the original, it's. There's no eagle. You just go in there, and there's only one gemstone you need to grab. Alright. So, I'm going to be taking a bit of a weird path, but it's because it's the path that I will fight the least amount of hunters. So. get this um, tiger head out of the way real quick.
Uh, do not attempt to put the red gemstone into the tiger statue because um, it will not work out well for you. Pretty sure poisonous snakes drop on you. And we get an MO disc which is a completely optional item, but if you want the good ending, and if you want to save Jill, then you will need these MO discs. And I am going to give you the good ending. I wish I didn't have to make so many trips to the item box, but that's just how it is playing as Chris. Alright, let's go ahead and store the um, MO disc the red gemstone for now and uh, just take out some healing items I'd say one should be good I guess I'll take if I remember correctly there should be healing items So I'm only going to take one. We are going to be fighting the... Um, we're going to be going up against the boss fight. We're going to be fighting the snake again. back to this area and keep going and there's actually a door back here which you can unlock with the helmet key Just as I thought, there is two herbs right here, which I would not have been able to pick up if I had brought another healing item. So now we have two healing items. Oof. Oh, I heard that. Start running, we'll go down this ladder. It's honestly pretty easy to not even be touched by him. Just be careful and keep your distance. Oh, okay. As I say that.
but still. Uh, oops. It's really pretty slow. But he can be challenging in his own way. And he does deal a lot of damage. So the snake is dead. Yawn. Uh, he knocked out this book, uh, the last book, volume two. And this knob is still broken. Damn it. That would have led to um, that elevator area where I left those herbs behind in the last area because my inventory was full. So that would have been really convenient if I could have uh, gone through that door. But I think that's just a completely unusable door in this game. Which is interesting, and also, they changed up the library quite a bit, um, from the original. In the original there would have been, like, two rooms, um, going out, going off of it. And even a puzzle. And the boss fight would not have been in that room. It would have been in a different room. So the library would have just been filled with zombies in the original. So, yeah, that's changed quite a bit. Alright. think that I will be book volume 2 and I'm going to take the red gemstone and now since I don't really think I'll be returning to this area again I'll show you why I've been avoiding there you go. Hunters will jump through those windows. I just thought it was kind of cool. And again, I don't think I'll be returning to this part of the mansion again, so... Just thought I'd show that to you.
So if you need to, you can backtrack for those herbs that I left behind, but I have plenty of healing items, so... Really, I think I'll be fine. Um, I'm not going to go that way, even though it would be the fastest way, but there are hunters on the second floor of the dining room. So I'm going to take the longer, safer way. Pretty sure there's two hunters on the second floor of the dining room, so it makes it hard to... to get around that. Without using some shotgun shells. Never really tried fighting a hunter with a handgun, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'm sure it's possible, but I'm sure it's more than possible. this door over here and use the helmet key on it and we're going to discard the helmet key Telescope there. There's a file here. There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. So that'd be George Trevor. Um, what he's actually referring to is the secret room. Um, you can kind of see it. It's uh, it, we we can't enter that in this playthrough. But once you beat the game on your first time, you will unlock the closet key, and then you'll be able to go into that next that room in your next playthrough. And uh, I don't really need those ink ribbon. And um, it just lets you change um, costumes, outfits. Because you can unlock different costumes in this. Hello. So there's a zombie in here. Which is Boom. There's a dagger, and for some odd reason there's a stationary blue herb thing. Kind of weird because I'm not even sure how, it's kind of hard to get poisoned in the mansion. But not impossible. And so now you'll take this jewelry box and put the red gemstone in it and it will give you this small puzzle which I'm not the best at remembering but I'm going to try pretty sure it goes
doing a better job than I thought I would actually. That was pretty good. Usually it takes me a few tries. Oh, come on, get in there. There we go. Alright, and then you'll get this brooch. If you examine it, it changes into a key. The key is the designed with the emblem of the Spencer family, whose history is as old as Raccoon City. So it is the Spencer key, I guess you could call it. Um, Oswell E. Spencer is the like CEO, basically acting director of Umbrella. Top dog. So, you know, he's pretty rich. He's got mansion like this. Mansions. head up through here. I really don't understand that door. Is it like it's supposed to be a door with a window in it or something? It's a weird looking door. And we'll take this amazing shortcut. this room Rebecca Is she upstairs <laughs> All right so now we have to go save Rebecca stop off and grab the shotgun real quick because it ain't no zombie that's attacking her. Still there? That's strange as fuck. Whoa, that was cool. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. 
Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. <laughs> oh, that is fucking hilarious. Until then, you're on your own. Like, why? I didn't mean to get you worried. Why can't they just stick together? <laughs> like, just come on, bitch. Follow me. Jesus. Uh, oops. I don't know why I did that. Because there's a zombie out here and I need to go the other way. So yes, that is uh, completely optional to save Rebecca. You can let her die, but um, again, if you want the good ending, the best ending, um, you need to save Rebecca and Jill. Richard has no bearing on the ending because he dies no matter what, whether it's from snake poison or sharks. Alright, so... we need what we will be needing oops where's my shotgun shells oh there they are uh, what we'll be needing is the square crank and the battery so bring those with you very very important Repaired. Oh, yeah. So now head back into this room because we never had a chance to even to look through it. Get over here and turn the lamp on. And here you will find a metal object but it is missing the stone that we need There's some shotgun shells it's an old fashioned telephone but the cord has been cut uh, quite a collection of scientific books, almost all of them are biology related I was thinking there was something else in here. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there it is. There's a flash grenade here. That is everything in that room. I was feeling like there should be magnum rounds in there, but that's because in the original game you find magnum rounds in there. So we're going to be leaving the mansion once again. Alright, 
most of these dogs are still going to be here, but they're super easy to run past. You're gonna unequip the shotgun just because it makes you a lot faster. <laughs> Damn it! Every single time I do this, I never get bitten by a snake. And now, all of a sudden, I'm getting bitten by snakes every time. Luckily, he did not poison me. Still gonna be dogs out here, so just hurry up and run over here. And insert the battery. And go up this elevator. And I'll bring you right back to where you were. Where those other dogs were. So yeah. now, oh shit. We now have a working elevator there. Now head back this way. I'm going to use the crank here. And fill this back up with water. Now the sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. So now we have... Um, we need to go back this way. And head down the elevator. Now that we have stopped the waterfall, we have opened up a new new way to go. Woo. Damn it. Down this way. I have a lot more health items than I do shotgun shells, so I'm sure we don't feel like fighting those dogs. get to the underground tunnels. In the original game there would be no item box here which was a huge pain in the ass. So apparently they recognized that and thought that there should be an item box here. And thank god because this square crank is now useless. We really don't need this uh, metal object. Also, some ink ribbon here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up and uh, take this opportunity to save my game. part here. So I'll be back soon for the next part.